Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to What's Up Number Something. I'll insert the number here. Uh, Monday night, tat night, and a nice break from the, uh, the norm. We are not going up out to Zwift tonight. We are on Innsbruck doing the UCI short course, which isn't short and still has a right mother of a climb in the middle of it. So last time I did this, didn't enjoy it at all, and um, I'm hoping for much better things today. I've already done my warm up. It was broken into plenty of small parts for the main reason that I am on a different bike tonight. I've done something I swore I'd never do and I've put my beloved Cervelo on the turbo trainer. The reasons for this are threefold, thricefold, threefold, where well, there are three reasons for it. One, my specialised bottom bracket is still creaking and I forgot to take it off to service it and give it a good clean. Two. The Cervelo has the rotor twin power power meter fitted to it, and I've always been curious to see how accurate the power meter is in the, the uh, Elite Drivo. So this seems like a good time to make that comparison with the Winter League starting in less than a week. So if, uh, if there are benefits to be had from riding this bike, maybe this is the one I'll use during the Winter League. And three, oh, I thought there were three. All right, there were two reasons why I'm on this bike. Early impressions, incidentally, anyone that's interested of the power meter accuracy, I think it averages out very similar. But where there is a distinct difference is in reaction time. The re reaction time of Zwift receiving the transmitted power from the rotor power meter is like that. It's worlds apart. On the drive -o, I think you've got maybe one and a half, two seconds possibly of a delay, which I'm hoping might explain some of my some of my inability to hold onto the back of the group. When a group accelerates or somebody accelerates away from me, if I react and, and the rotor power meter reacts at the same time, I think I've got a much better chance of staying on than obviously if I react and then the uh, the turbo trainer decides to wait a second and a half or two seconds before it then tries to, to chase onto that group. So that could explain why so many times I fall victim to what seems like a really momentary lapse in con concentration and having to work my ass off to try and get back. It might, might have nothing to do with it. There is a flip side to that in that the reaction time of getting off the power is equally as sudden, uh, where the inertia of the turbo trainer seems to carry me a bit over the top of a, a climb on a descent. That inertia means that the reduction in transmitted power is a more gradual thing, whereas as soon as I stop spinning on the rotor power meter, as I'll demonstrate now, boom, 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 it's gone down to zero very quickly. Whereas reading it on my Wahoo head unit, it has now only just gone down to zero. So pros and cons. I think the pros will outweigh the cons, if I'm honest, because I think there's a lot more to be gained from being able to react very quickly to a break. Um, it will just mean that I might have to pedal a little bit more on the flats and the descents than I'm used to. Uh, so yeah, it'll be an interesting little experiment. Like I say, I've got the turbo trainer power readout on my Wahoo Element Bolt, and I have the power going to Zwift from the Rotor Twin Power power meter. Yeah. Warm up done, minute and a half till we start. I will zip my lip, and depending on how the race goes, I'll either talk to you during the race, or if I'm doing reasonably well, I'll uh, keep my mouth shut and have a chat with you at the end. Got loads to talk about with the, with the league starting. Um, so, yeah, hang on right to the end of this video. See you in a bit. Okay, 27 seconds. Here we go. Got a pretty decent looking field. Try and wind up a little bit of power with the last 10 seconds. Brian Roden is streaming, as always, on his YouTube channel. So uh, go and check that out if you want to see the full race after this. Anyway, here we go. It's going to be a gentle start, and we are off. Best of luck, everybody. Oh, this is supposed to be cold, not cold, cold, as in no other riders visible other than those that are in the event. I don't want to be down on Zwift, but this is happening far too frequently. It's, this is a repeat event. It's not, nothing changes. The details don't change. They just haven't managed to, to get it quite right. Now, it's looking pretty tricky to try and 
find the rider or riders you want to be staying with within your group and spread out all over the place. Let's just quickly run through the bunch around me that I think are part of this race. We've got C. Harrison, D. Kitchen, T. Martinison, P. J. Daly, L. Johansson, H. Val, uh, Darren Hunter, K. Stephen, A. Malin, Go WBR, <laughs> uh, A. Scott, just a second off. And I think that's everybody in my immediate vicinity. So great to see you all. I can tell you already. This power meter's not giving me any free watts, that's for sure. John for the ride on. Great to see you buddy. Alright, this group has whittled down to just a few of us. Myself, Kev Steen, Darren Hunter, and Tom Martinison. D Kitchen's just a couple of seconds off. Dwight Williams was doing really well, he's dropped just a handful of seconds back now. There's a good chance he's pacing himself better up this hill than I am. What I can confirm that reaction time from the power meter is fantastic. It's so nice. If I see someone pushing on, it's so nice to be able to just react instantly and grab the wheel. I think I've been missing that my whole time on Zwift. Otherwise I'd probably be an A by now. <laughs> Still have to put the power out but at least I'm not have to put it out for longer to chase back. Oh, we're catching Kyle Chich. <laughs> Sorry, dude, for the pronunciation of your name. It's P. Elliot Kowalchich, I think. Oh, rinse toast. No way, man. Yeah, Darren's just mentioned a sticky draft. I'm in a little one myself as well at the moment, which I managed to just break out of. Now go hunting down Kev and Kowalcic. There we go. Managed to grab the wheel of Ring Vista. One of the last season's arch nemesis for me. Nemesis is Nemesi. I think he's a. Uh, I think it might have gone off too quick and just blown for a bit. <laughs> a little wave, cheers dude. I'm pretty sure he'll find himself again. <clears throat> okay, so this group, D Kitchen, R Visser, M Neil, K Steven, D Hunter, T Martinison, and Kowalcic. his mojo again. Here he comes. Just five seconds off the back now. It's been absolutely flying. I tried to put a kick. Not so much to break Kev but 
try and see if that would dampen Brink's enthusiasm. <laughs> but no such luck. And Kev put in a brilliant kick after dropping a few seconds off me to get back on. I'm loving this quick reaction time. I'm probably saving so much energy from not having to chase back from distance every time I get dropped. Kind of like I have now with Kev. <laughs> Let me just see about kick 3.9. Whereas on my Wahoo, ah, oh, the blooming elements turned off. And try and make a comparison. Yeah. Gotta be with Kev when we come over the top. Yeah. Ah, Kev's too strong. I can't chase him down before we start the descent. I managed to put a bit of distance between myself and Rink, which is good. I was trying to close Kevin, but as soon as he saw me coming, he jumped back on it. I'm going to save myself, see if I've got anything. The last couple of K. See if I can just put the frighteners on him again. We've still got that, that hill to come. I think Kev's chasing down the kitchen. Uh, just 12 seconds off him, and the gap was much bigger than that at one point. Here comes that 500 meter climb. I think it's all or nothing up here. Let's see what we got. I said it was all or nothing. Turns out it was nothing. I needed more, much more than that to grab hold of Kev before tipping over the top here to have any chance of closing. And he's right on the wheel of D Kitchen now. Awesome job, man. I'm going to jump forward a little bit. I don't know well, who's behind me. I don't want to risk losing the position. It looks like loads have already finished. We've got Go WBR coming over next. 29th position. We have missed lots of riders. There we go. Over the line. I'm going to get back to me. Sorry, I've got to keep an eye on this. I've done really well for me, so I don't want to blow it now. Yeah, sorry I missed so many of you coming over the line. I've had to concentrate on my race. I'm really, really impressed by the power meter, I have to say. It's a breath of fresh air being able to just accelerate and go. Oh, here goes Kev. Up in the falls, looking to chase Kitchen down, I think. There's a pretty decent gap. But I'm not sure he's going to do it. I was thinking of chasing Kev, but if you can put out those sort of power numbers, I don't think I'll bother. Although well, my heart rate's come back down again. 900 meters, what do you reckon? Let's have a little go. Yeah, okay, let's hit the line. <laughs> Good job, man. Kev, but man, I'm pleased with that. Bloody hell. I'm really pleased with that. Felt a little bit more 
back to how I want to be and how I think I should be. Ah. Yeah, please about that. Ah. Ah. I meant to demonstrate exactly the difference between the uh, responsiveness, uh, but there was one point I was looking down, I accelerated both power meters were around 165 watts and I accelerated and on Zwift immediately jumped up to nearly 300 and uh, it probably took six seconds before the turbo trainer read the same power. It sort of went up incrementally. Uh, so definite advantage to me being on this power meter, that's for sure. I think the main thing is I've not had to go right into the red to catch anyone. So my biggest problem is always recovering after that. So if I've had to do a burst for 10, 15 seconds just to catch a group that I should have been with, inevitably I struggle to get my breath back and get my legs going again for some time and quite often just get spat back out again. Uh, but on this occasion, I was able to react instantly and minimise the amount of time I was having to chase to stay in a group. So really, really pleased with that. Oh, 2.7 average. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Woo. All right. I don't have to jump off the bike tonight, so I can actually go through the finishing order. Okay, so we have M-Bike from Innovation Cycling. I think that's the INC, isn't it? Is it Innovation? Excuse my ignorance. Uh, with the win, 5.3 watts per kilogram. Wow. Oh, as I unclip, I've just remembered the third reason. There was a third reason I prefer on this bike. I've got the Shimano pedals on here on this bike, so I can wear my other shoes, which clip in much better because I've got a broken cleat on the for the time espresso espresso pedal. So yeah, so there was a third there was a third reason. Right, anyway, sorry. M bike, M Kemper, O Bjerksef for the one, two, three. Great stuff, guys. Then we have S Vinton, J Woodward, J Taylor, S Venson. B. Roden, N. Hall, and T. Freuland rounding off the top 10. Well done, everybody. Just outside the top 10, we have Wilts Ryder, A. Robinson, R. Pausma, R. Alexandro, J. Bythewe, uh, D. Bjorkman. Sorry, Obi's just licking the sweat off my legs as he always does when I finish. It's so disgusting. Uh, where did I get to? D. Bjorkman. Mark from T Type 1. J. Nappen, Napen, Napen. P. Sturges. P. Wilson. R. Gasson, B. Fossoy, Faseed, J. Gorilla, J. Zerbier, H. Val, D. Potts, C. Harrison, T. Harrison, Go. WBR, X. Bergflog, Berg, Bergflow, uh, I. Mondejar, Mondejar, J. Wells, O. Grenning, S. Massio, D. Kitchen, K. Stephen, myself, M. Neil, P. Elliot Kowalczyk, Kowalczyk, R. Worth, L. Johansson, D. Hunter, T. Martinison, R. Visser, P. J. Daly, D. Williams, N. York, M. York rather, and A. Scott. Uh, so we still have a few coming in. But that's a lot of finishers, 47. Great stuff, guys. That's brilliant. What a brilliant turnout. There were so many other riders in there that I wasn't aware of at all because obviously I'm in my own little bubble, however many minutes behind <laughs> the fast guys. Um, and, and again, seriously apologies for them not doing the rider call. Uh, that's actually really irritated me. It's um, especially on a busy circuit. If we're doing a world swap, not so crucial because obviously not everybody's going to be on there. But on a busy circuit where you've got uh, it's a smallish circuit, there's three and a half thousand people on Zwift at the moment. It's impossible to race and not get. I mean, I definitely got a tow at some point from a group that I caught up with. Um, I'm hoping it evened itself out where other people were getting drafts from other riders around as well. Uh, but it's impossible to have a race that many people around you need to be able to see who you're racing against um, but still really good fun and obviously given my last performance on Innsbruck UCI course I am really really pleased with that uh, but I felt reasonably good I prepared myself a lot better today uh, carbo loaded earlier on in the day uh, and yeah and I just think my preparation was much better so can you tell I'm really pleased with myself <laughs> it wasn't like I won anything I gave 37 for goodness sake um, but I just felt good and I'm not dying which is incredible. Uh, right, so we've got G. Burnett is coming now and A. Mayland. Uh, while we wait for other riders to come in, 
I will do what I said I was going to do and talk to you about the racing league. Registration is closed. We have a massive field, absolutely huge. Uh, off the top of my head, I would say we've got 150 riders signed up across the categories. I am under no illusions that everybody's going to turn up, but if half of those guys turn up, guys and girls turn up, that's going to be it's going to be awesome. Uh, really exciting one. There's there's names I recognise from other race series and race teams that I know are going to be be really strong in this. Uh, my one wish, and I really, really am keeping my fingers crossed for this, is that the size of it doesn't dilute the good-natured spirit that we've always raced with. There's been absolutely no bitching and bickering. Any disputes have been dealt with amicably and very quickly and without fuss or accusation or or any kind of unnecessary drama. And not just because it will be uh, an administrative nightmare for me, uh, but I really just hope that uh, disputes are dealt with properly. If there's, you know, someone you feel isn't performing or behaving how you think they should in both the, the sort of legal aspects in terms of power to weight in the category they're in or just in terms of spirit and, and general behaviour with regards to comments or whatever it may be, please come to me to try and deal with it behind the scenes before turning it into any kind of sort of public slanging match. Um, it's the way we've always dealt with it and it's been impeccable and it's, it's the, my proudest part of this, this whole group, this whole team, is the way we've managed to be very competitive with each other but in just the most good natured way and I really hope that this, the size of this field doesn't dilute that. I'm, I'm absolutely sure it won't. Um, what was I going to say? Right, someone raised a point earlier in the forum, will there be prizes or are we racing for pride? In terms of the overall championships, um, it's for pride. I haven't done it for a couple of seasons now um, with prizes at the end of it. Um, but what I will do is, as with this race, obviously we, we have a sponsor that are still in the process of actually sort of getting themselves sorted. Um, I'm as much to blame as they are with that, so I'm not gonna, certainly not going to throw them under the bus. But um, it's a big project that they're working on, which is launched very soon. And in actual fact, it was kind of under my suggestion that they hold fire until the Zwift season and the indoor racing season picks up. So uh, that will be their website and their online store and, and what they're doing, which is nothing really to do with us, will be, will be up and running very soon. Um, but what they have said is, as well as sponsoring this race, they will sponsor individual rounds of the, the racing league primarily the really difficult round. So the 111, obviously, is the one that springs to mind. And we've got we've got a couple of options. We've got, I can actually give away some Enduro goods for some of these that I have in the shop still. Unfortunately, it won't be the jerseys or the bibs, the really expensive items. I think you know where I'm going with this. I've got quite a few pairs of socks. So <laughs> you, might, you might well bag yourself a pair of WKG socks at some point. Um, but Rillo, uh, I know they're launching their V-Rider range, which is it's really cool. If I say so myself, I've helped them with a lot of the design. It's it's not specific to Zwift. It's it's actually to kind of encompass all of the indoor riding platforms. So um, Virtugo, Road Grand Tours, Zwift, Be Cool, Tax, all of those guys. It's not specific to Zwift, but um, obviously my my allegiance is with Zwift, but. Um, the range that they've come out with is more generic, and it's it's freaking awesome. It's really wicked. I don't know if anyone saw. Uh, in fact, I know some of you saw my old cramp T-shirt the other day. That's one of the ones I got coming out. Um, I think that was really due to uh, me pressurising them. That was that was my own personal collection. But they will be making that or something very similar. Their main one is it's just got a really lovely design on the front of it. Anyway, this turned into a sales thing. Anyway, the point I was trying to make was. Um, they will be sponsoring individual rounds, so there will be prizes uh, and sort of giveaways at certain stages during the course of the of the league. Um, as always, with this one, we will give the tat t-shirt to the best comment underneath this video. Basically, I get to pick it; they don't even have a say in that, which is really nice. So, any comment that makes me laugh makes me actually feel you genuinely deserve it or just grabs my attention in a way that others don't, you will win an exclusive tat t-shirt by Rillo. 
Um, some other guys are just coming in. Let me just give them dry dons. Mr. Robinson. I've probably got that wrong, haven't I? I got your first name wrong last time. Is it Robertson, Robertson or Robinson? I'm just going to call you Future Co. But in the league, it might get confusing. Hey, Mr. Starkey. Good job, man. I know you had a workout before this, so well done for finishing that. Yeah, so I think that's as much as I can tell you. Um, I will do, I think, just a little sort of two, three minute long video that I'll put straight on Facebook rather than through this YouTube channel. Um, just explaining again the structure, the rules, and just the way the league works. Again, because we've got so many people signed up for it, I just want to make sure the, the message of the group and the team gets across to everybody. Oh, one other thing, and, I, and again, I will put this out in a much more formal way. The 111 is on the 11th of the 11th at 11 o'clock. Obviously, that is a historically a very significant day and time um, and is ordinarily honoured by a minute's silence. So what I will be doing is arranging that that race has a one-minute rollout, neutral rollout. I will make sure I get message out in as, on as many different platforms and at as many possible times as I can um, so that we all roll out. It's a long race, so I'm not expecting anybody to burst off the line anyway. So it seems like the perfect opportunity. We all roll out for one minute from the start at 11 o'clock on the 11th of the 11th. And, um, and then basically I will give the go in a message to everybody and the race will begin. Uh, I just thought that would be quite a nice way to honour that day. And um, yeah, anyway, like I say, I'll get more formal instruction out regarding that. Um, right, I'm not sure if anyone else is coming in, but I'm starting to cramp up standing here. So I'm going to go and jump in the shower. Thank you all so much for riding. Thank you all so much for watching. That was a really enjoyable race, mainly because I've got breath in my lungs. I'm still standing, still talking, still alive, which is a is a surprise given the performance in my last couple of races. So um, yeah, really enjoyed that one. Catch you all in the next one.